All right, we got the Alpha Bravo Charlie wing types that we just downloaded off of ftstem.com. And what we're looking at here, uh, within the top box, are the originals. And we can reference these, copy these uh, whenever we want. In fact, I'm just going to do it right now just in case. I'm uh, just going to highlight over it. Once I've done that, I'm just going to go Control c for copy and then Control v to paste it again. I'm going to push down my middle scroll button and just pan off to the left so I can just place it there. And if you look down here at the bottom, you're going to notice that you have the wing types again. Now, I've indicated that there's some areas of the wing type that you cannot change. So let's say that um, in this case, you know, from your research and what you've done, um, you really want to make it look more like a Raptor, like an F-22 Raptor. So you're not even going to need the Bravo or the Charlie. So you can just simply take it, highlight it, and just hit the delete button on your, or delete key on your keypad. So if we zoom in on this, um, there's a couple things that we need to uh, pay attention to. That is the blue kind of guide box here um, is symbolizing the uh, wing support that we have off to the side here. Now, that could change based on the change, you know, what you guys go with for your final design, um, or it could stay there. These green lines is what I'm not going to want to touch. I don't want to touch these. I want to keep them, keep them normal. And there's a couple things that you can do uh, just to kind of get a better idea as to what's, you know, what is this going to form when it's all said and done. Because you have to think of it as in terms of, of how the foam board is going to move and, and how it's going to fold. Now, these red lines, uh, I'm hoping by now through the curriculum that you, and through a couple builds, that you know what these red lines are. These red lines, red lines simply uh, uh, represent a, a bend. Um, or in cases like this, it could be a bevel. Um, for us, we typically like to just um, score these, score this one, and this line right here, this line is, is important. That one we're going to bevel. That'll allow us to fold this whole entire wing section, as you see here, over this line here to form the wing. So let's, let's take a look at this. I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to copy and paste and bring it over here to the right. I'm going to use a command called mirror. Now, if you look at the bottom here and look in your... Um, uh, command window, you'll see the command called mirror. So I'm going to type in M I R R O R, hit enter, and it's going to ask you to specify the destination, uh, specify the entities. And I'm going to go ahead and select the whole upper wing, okay? And I'm going to say enter, and I'm going to pick that point. And as you can see, I'm starting to, uh, it wants me to complete the line that it's going to mirror over. I'm going to click right there and hit enter again. Now, let's just go ahead and, and delete this. And well, I probably should have done that in the command, but that's okay. So now you've got the wing and what it looks like when it folds over that bevel line. You'll see that it actually forms the wing of the F-35. Now for us, let's say we want to change it a little bit. Let's say um, maybe in your research you, have, you know, want it to be a little bit of a slow flyer. You want it to... Uh, be able to take on a little bit more drag, uh, but at the same time create a little bit more lift. Um, and so maybe, let's just, I, I'm just messing around here. Maybe I take that fold line and I increase it out just a little bit more. And I still stay within the distance of my wing. I'm not going too far out beyond this. And you can, you can go, you can go further. It wouldn't be a bad idea to, to try that and see what happens. And then, um, with that being said, I'm going to go escape, hit line. Maybe I'll come down, just like, maybe I'll go inward, and then I'll come all the way back, like this. All right, and I don't need these lines anymore, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete them. Don't need this guy anymore. And don't need this guy anymore. So let's look at what we have now. So we have, this is what my main wing looks like. It's kind of cool, actually. I, I, I like it. I might actually kind of want to try this one. So what I'm going to do is, I, there's a couple of things I need to, to pay attention here. If this is my main wing that folds out here, then I need to look at what my underwing looks like. And I don't want my underwing, or my main bottom wing, to show up 
at the bottom here. That doesn't look very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this whole line and just move it. And I know that if I copy it and move it along here, it'll be parallel uh, to what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to go like there. And just to make sure, I'll come back and, and look at some of my other wing types and just make sure that what I'm doing is okay. And what I'm specifically looking for is just the main wing on the bottom. And it looks like I'm doing okay. All right. I'm going to use a command called trim. So this is TR, enter. And I'm going to pick these two lines here and hit enter. And it's going to say, I don't want this, that, that, that. And can't delete those because those are line segments. So I'll do that. All right. So I think what I'll do is I'll just run this line. Uh, hit ortho so I can get a nice straight line and I'll trim it out nice alright well that will make for an interesting wing so now the next thing I have to do is I have to think about the folds how is this going to fold over uh, as an airfoil over that uh, wing piece that wing strut that we have right in the middle let's look at it well, it looks like the first line is about an inch or so away from the mirror line, and it's it looks parallel. And then you've got another line that's back here that kind of helps the airfoil shape, and that one's a little bit more of an angle, not so much parallel. Well, let's go take a look at the Bravo and see what we have here. Man, Bravo's doing the same thing. Let's go to Charlie. And Charlie's doing the same thing, too. we got two parallel lines, and then we've got another line that's kind of veering off here. No problem. All right, so I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to copy here. And I want that line to go out about right here. Now, I can always adjust this um, based on how it's going to uh, be in line with the front fuselage piece, because I might be too far. So let's say I just leave it like right there. Because let's go back. Let's see. Okay, let's let's leave it. Now in this stage, you might have to come back and forth a couple times before you get it right. That's totally fine. Now here's a good one. See this piece right here? We'll have to come back to that piece later, but it's not going to be a red line all the way to the end, and we'll we'll cover that here in a second. I want one more line, and if I look back at my other lines, it looks like. They are veering off, but it's closer towards the edge. So I'm going to go just to the midpoint. That's too close. I'll probably go right by here. And I'll veer off. Ooh, that will be kind of cool. I'm going to go like that. Trim it out. And it's going to go to this line right here. So I'll just trim that out. Trim here. And I'll change that, and we'll make it red. Alright, now I'm ready to mirror. So I'm going to mirror back again. I'm going to mirror this and this and this and this, this line. I'm going to mirror my two red fold lines I got going here. I'm going to mirror this line and that guy. Alright, right click, pick my lines that I want to mirror it over, and hit enter. Alright, let's see how we're doing. Oh, I missed a couple lines. That's okay. Pick it there. Come back. Grab it. Close it off. Cool. Now, obviously, we can't keep it all, so I'm going to go back here and delete these guys. I don't need them anymore. And I don't need these guys anymore either. And this one? Nope. Don't need this. Perfect. Delete these guys because we don't want them in there. All right, so I didn't tamper at all with the green lines. Those are all good. And I've got my new wing shape here, but there's one thing i got to go ahead and double check. Is my uh, support here going to interfere with my fold? No, looks good to me. So I'll just keep it. I'm not even going to change it. I'll use the same fold line. Um, let's see. I might want to just bring this down just a little bit. And I'll just trim it. And the other thing I have to, you know, because we have a laser, 
um, and your school might have a laser, you might want to change this and say, okay, well, I want to go to here, delete that guy, come back, and now I've got this cool sort of uh, hybrid wing of the alpha that um, hopefully will give me a, a better um, glide ratio than the actual alpha design wing that we have here. Now to, to wrap this up, what we would do is we say mirror, and I would pick all of this. Just pick a line to come over, pick ortho so you get a nice straight piece. And then right there. Now what I'm I am ready to go is, is actually take this piece here and actually take it to a, a laser cutter if I have one. And if not, then you're going to want to use our lesson on um, inserting into the AutoCAD um, printing template. Uh, once you do that, you can then print it off in 8 by 11 sheets and cut it out, paste it on your phone board, and you're ready to rock and roll and test this first design. Play around with it, guys. Have fun playing around with it. Come up, come up with a lot of different designs. I've had students that have done this project, and there's 10 to 15 different designs, and keep every single one. Never get rid of them. Because what you'll do is you'll come in and you'll zoom in on a design that you have, you'll print screen, you can throw it into your design brief to kind of showcase to your teacher that, hey, this is, uh, you know, this, this is my thought process, this is my design thinking process, and this is where I'm headed. So, guys, I hope you uh, got something out of that tutorial, and I hope that you guys come up with an awesome wing uh, for your alpha build, and uh, have fun flying.